Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Hope you're all fantastic and doing well and thank you very much for coming to another upload. What we're we using, so what we're going to be using for the razor for today is going to be the Rockwell 6S stainless steel, fantastic razor. Plate I'll be using is plate number four, if you can see that because I'm rubbish on this camera. <laughs> um, fantastic, it's got Rockwell on the sides. Chunky, quite a heavy weight, I like this. Um, I use this quite often to be honest. I use this as my daily shaver. Um, when I'm not filming, this is the razor I use. It's one of my favorites. Right, going on to the brush now. The brush is Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, the green ray. There it is, fantastic brush. I've used this in a previous video. Same with the razor. Um, and this is a 24 millimeter, is it? Yeah, 24 millimeter synthetic knot. So I'll be using that. Don't need to uh, dip the tips yet. And the soap is going to be Sterling Soap Company, Margaritas in the Arctic, Glacial. And as you know, what if you know, Glacial's a lot more menthol and stuff. And you'll know it's Glacial because he's got like a tattoo on his arm. <laughs> the polar bear has. And if you can see that. And the reason I've got the tub is because I've bloomed it. And the reason I've bloomed it, I've had this soap for about, I'd say four years, five years. So I've had it a while, um, but I haven't used it. I only use it when it gets really really warm in the UK. Today is about 24 degrees, I think. And I am sweating in this bathroom. Um, and yeah, it's been a warm one today. So that's the reason why I'm using this. The splash I'll be using, I haven't got the matching splash, but I am gonna be using Osage Rub. Don't know if you guys have ever used that. I use this in my hair, to be honest. <laughs> when it's hot outside, you put this in the air, you get like a menthol burn in your head. It's great. <laughs> so if you do shave your head, maybe try some of this. When you've got a hot day. Anyway, and then I'll follow it up with a Nivea balm. Uh, was it Replenish Post Shave Balm? That's what I'll be using afterwards. Right, I'm gonna try and speed this up. It was 24 minutes again the last video. Uh, what am I like? Right, I'm gonna load the razor with a feather blade, second use. Yeah, I, I, I've used that blade um, off camera. So I'm a daily shaver and I just video twice a week for you guys. Just put that over there, take the washer off. Be good if I took the blade out first. <laughs> yeah, and if you're new to this channel, I am gonna just do one one video uh, a week, just so I get you, because I'm going to the gym, if you don't know. Um, I have spoke to this a couple of videos back as well, that I'm starting the gym, and because I'm starting the gym, I'm trying to focus on that. Um, it's only for a few weeks, maybe a month. Um, and then I'll get back to doing two or three videos a week then. Just to get my, my you know, when when I leave the gym, I won't have time to do a video kind of thing. So that's the only reason. But as soon as I get used to it, I'll be, you know, banging them out then. Videos. Just put in the, uh, the blade on the top cap. If you guys want to see this. <laughs> um, number four I'm putting on. So if you want this on number two, you'd, you'd flip that and push it on that way. Then if you want number four, which is that way, you want to stick it on top like that. You have got the, I have got the other blades on there, but this is normally our go-to, number four. Oh, I'll put my washer on. Put my washer on. I try and keep my razors in good nick, you see. When it, when it wants to screw on. There, we got it. We got the thread going there. Go. Slight overhang, not much, slight overhang, if you can see that. Really slight the overhang to be aware of. Right. The last time I used a feather, I mean this this batch has been okay, but the last time I used one it was really rough on my skin and uh, I've just had an odd blade, which is rubbish I think. But I've got a backup if I need to. So rinse my hands, put some water in the sink. Hope you guys are having great shaves. Yeah, today it's been really warm in the UK. Today is a Saturday. Uh, and this will be uploaded for Sunday. I always do the day before, you see. Just put some water in the sink. There you go. And I've bloomed the water. Bloomed the water. I've bloomed the soap with water. If you can see that. Uh, here we go. Put that to the face now. Even though this soap's quite old now, really. Four, I think it's about five years old, was it? 2019, is it? The boy in 2019, I think. I was looking back at my purchases. I think it was from shaving time. Was it 2019? I think it was 2019 or just before I brought this. That'll do. And the menthol 
You can see my eyes, it's starting to take over me. <laughs> Just rinse the hands, it's still really slick. I need to get more sterling soaps. I've only got this one. Um, and I mean to keep getting them. I, it's just the funds, isn't it? It's an expensive uh, hobby. Should put some more water in the sink so I can dunk this. Dunk it. One, two, three, maybe four, five. There you go. And rinse it. Rinse it out. Take some water out. Get as much water as I can out. There you go. And then we're literally going to start laving from the bowl. Oof! It's been a warm one, yeah. This is starting to take me on, is it? <laughs> Yeah, these soaps are fantastic. The smell coming off this, it's like, a, well it is a margarita, so it smells like. If you don't know what that smell, like a limey kind of smell. Limey menthol smell, that's what it is. It's a bit dry there, I'm gonna just dip the uh, bristles in. There you go, so I'll some more. A bit more. It's, this soap can take a lot of water. I mean, I'm doing it from the pub, but what I'll do is rinse this, get all the soap suds. Is it suds? Soap suds, I'm gonna say, out. And then I'll leave it to dry just for a little bit. Then put the uh, the tub back on and then put it back away. I don't have many menthol soaps to be honest. This is the only one, well, I've got a few, but this is the one I, I really like using this one. I'm gonna go with that. I should put that away. Yeah, so this has lasted me for years, this has. Is that all right, yeah? I don't need to wet the face again, still got the pre-shave shining. So here we go. I need to dip the tips though. A lot of soap in this brush though. Yeah, I haven't had a shave for, what day is it now, did I say Saturday? It is Saturday. Saturday, so I'm trying to think, Thursday morning, I think it was. Because um, I went to the hospital for a checkup. Um, for you guys who don't know, <laughs> none of you know actually, I've got a hole in my eardrum. Um, but I've always had problems with me since I've been a, a young child. Um... But when I left the army and stuff, I just had more and more ear infections and stuff like that. The hearing was there, fine. The hearing's always been there, it's just had holes and, you know, grommets and stuff when I was younger. And it's fantastic, so it's cooling me right down. You see my eyes running. <laughs> yeah, I've always had problems with my ears when I was a young, young kid. Uh, I've had two, three operations now with holes in my eardrums. So when I saw the consultant and he says, at the moment they don't look like there's, there's a hole that looks like an hole, but the way they're in the operation, I don't, you don't think there is because they're doing pressure tests and stuff. So yeah, I will have to have an operation later in life, I think. Um, but hopefully, I mean, he said I can do without an anesthetic and, you know, um, but he says you will feel it. And I just don't like being put out, I really don't. I don't know just to take the pain and have it done in my ear. I've, I don't know, I don't know what to do yet. My eyes are streaming. <laughs> right, we're going for the first pass there. With the grain, here we go. Just gonna clean these, don't wanna be chopping that. Here we go. Let's get over here. You wanna get personal. <laughs> so I've got a mirror here, I've got one here as well. There's a lot of soap there. No tugging from this blade. As I say, this is second use, so. Did I tell you in the last video? I can't remember if I told you that I sold my Rex Ambassador. Um, if I did, I'm going to let you know now. <laughs> I sold it. Um, just because on camera I was having great shaves, like one to three setting. And it was a great, it's a great razor. It's great, really good. You know, it's fantastically built. It, you know, it, it's made to last. It, it, the engineering has gone into it. It's fantastic. But for me, just too, too aggressive for my skin. On camera, I said it was fine, and, and, and you know, it is a good razor. It really is, I ain't the slate. But because of the price tag, I tried to make it to my daily razor kind of thing when I don't film. And I was getting nicks, and some days I'd, I'd have it on setting one and a half, and it was still getting really bad nicks. I was like, God. It just didn't agree with my skin. 
I must say, the razor is a beautiful looking thing, it really is. I've got to be careful, I've got a little spot here. My eyes are running, so I can't see. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, there's a lot of people who like, like love the um, the Rex Ambassador, and a lot of people who are not too keen on it. For me, I do like the razor, and I wish to God that I could get on with it, but it just doesn't like me. <laughs> Um, so I have got rid of that with the stand and stuff and got a good price for it really um, and I've now purchased another adjustable which I think I've already spoke about but that should well I have got it but I'm waiting for a soap so I can do a shave of it to be honest so that'll be coming the next shaving video because I ain't gonna do one this week after this one. This goes out Sunday and then you won't get another one till the following Sunday. Um and then I'm gonna see how I feel and try and do the week after to two videos again. That's what I'll think. So I'm getting on now. <laughs> it's not like I'm 20, I'm just joined the gym. That's the first pass and I'm going over it like it's the last. Sorry about that. <laughs> Mine's wandering today. It's warm. Put a bit of water on that. Look at that, it's thick because I've got that soap in this brush. That's so cold on my face. Really, really good soaps. I really do need to get some from Sterling. I had their Christmas Eve one, that's a lie. I did have Christmas Eve. Um, but for the life of me, I cannot find that when it was Christmas. Um, I was looking for it. I brought it a few Christmases ago. But I was looking for it. I had the... Of the whole lot, like the balm and everything with it and the splash. I couldn't find it anywhere. Don't know what's happened to it. Still don't know to this day where it's gone. So, a bit more water on the old tips. Yeah, it's a, a mystery. Oh, that is a very mouthful. <laughs> Yeah, here we go, across the grain now. Look how shining that is. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. It's good to see that we've had a bit of sun now. See a lot of people in the UK are a little bit more happy, you know. As <laughs> soon as the rain comes, it turn miserable again. <laughs> oh, I don't know. You think living in the UK, you know, you get used to the weather, but you never do. It's always, a, a, you know, it's nice, always nice to have a bit of sun. And I tell you, the UK is a beautiful country when it's, um, when it, when it's summer. Like if you go in the countryside and stuff like that, and it, especially England. You see the castles and stuff like that, and old cottages. Some of these pubs as well. I mean, there's a pub not far from me. It's about three miles away. And it's like 13, 10. That, that's the date of the pub. I'm like, jeez. Obviously, been, it's been renovated a few times because it had just fallen apart. But it's still got the original like bricks and stuff. But obviously, the beams have had to be changed. We did used to have a, a fantastic little pub called the Crooked House. And it was called the Crooked House. It was crooked. You put your point down, it slide. But it got burnt down. Um, it just seems like pubs now have been burnt down. Um, when they go like derelict and stuff, nobody uses them. They suddenly get burnt down. And to me, there's got to be something to do with insurance or something. Got to be. Some of these buildings are like years and years old, and it's a shame to see them just get, you know. I, I love my history and stuff, and when you see stuff like that happen, you know, especially if you've seen it all your life. And it would have been like my grandfather's life as well, he would have seen it. So, I ain't crying over it, it's my eyes, <laughs> it's, it's mental. 
It's a beast, it really is. Oh, a little nip there. I'm probably gonna get one here because of the one there, maybe. But as I say, I had a spot there, so uh, just there. God, I'm talking rambles today, and I'm, I'm talking about the shave. <laughs> Ritz the face. Oh! That is fantastic, that's so. Really good so. Brush is fantastic. I, all the products I'm using today are fantastic. I've got no bad word. You know, I will give you my opinion. If I think it's rubbish, I'll say it's rubbish. But everything on video at the moment has been fantastic. There is some soap I brought. It's called, what's it called? Have I got it there now? I'll put it away. It's called, is it Ritual? That's um, sort of air fresheners and stuff and candles. Rituals or something. The art of samurai or something. Shaving cream. I thought, oh, I ain't seen this yet. I want to try that. So I'm going for a kind of a theme with my new razor. If you don't know what it is already, it's a bloody uh, Tatara adjustable. So I was trying to do like a Japanese kind of theme. Theme like. Even though I think Rituals is made. I think it said the Netherlands on the back of it. And the Tatara from Portugal. But it's, you know. So yeah, that, what I was saying about that is it's brushless, I think, because I put it on my face and just disappeared. So I, I used it off camera, rubbed it on my face. It does go slick, but disappears. So I don't know if to use that, I don't know. I might, I might not. It might be one of these quick shaves. Quick shaves, isn't it? Yeah, right. <laughs> I talk too much. Right, against the grain. That's the trouble, I talk too much. But I do appreciate you listening to the crap I talk. <laughs> yeah, you, these Rockwell razors, especially this one, six, uh, the six S. Beautiful. If you did want to buy a razor and I only have one razor, it's, I think it was about I can't remember. It was about eighty pounds. I can't remember. But this will last you a lifetime. It really will. You don't have to have this razor. You can have the six C's in it, the chrome version, a little bit cheaper. But they've nailed it with that. It's a tank, it really is. I believe you can get these in a few colours now. I've got a little nip there. Right, here we go. I took on the top lip now. It's getting darker out there. I think I just took the top of my spot off. Or pimple. <laughs> you don't get spots when you're 43. <laughs> you get pimples and bumps and lumps. And wrinkles. <laughs> Maybe there. I'm doing touch-ups, I don't know why, this is a third pass, but I'm going to do the touch-ups at the same time. Because it's so, so slick, you can do it. So I'm doing the uh, pickups now. <laughs> I think my wife's all about getting a curry tonight. I've had a curry for ages. It's my little blowout now. I'm going to start eating properly. What I mean by properly is eating better food. <laughs> the Sabres uh, got, their enough, got enough money out of me. See, this is the thing you start over shaving and then. Well, you know, you get shave, uh, shave burn, <laughs> razor burn. That'll do. I'm going to give it a rinse now. Braze, braze. <laughs> brace myself. It'll be cold water now. Should let my sink make an appearance in a minute. Right, I'm going to rinse the face now. Here we go. <gasps> Look, yo. That actually hurts. That's so cold. I know there's cold right there, but this is cold. <laughs> oh. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's 
some of this off and then I'm gonna put I think I'm gonna use a bit of alum. I've got the uh, the non-slip grip from PAA to my right. So everywhere on there. Contact coffee company. I don't think they're in business anymore. <laughs> it's just my fingy top. I swear around the house. It was Veterans Coffee Company in the UK. Anyway, here we go. I haven't got the rubber, the non slick grip things. I don't really need it. I just rub my hands with alum and it, it's, it's, it's all right. Oh, feedback here under there. Just here, I've got feedback under the chin normally. Oh, yeah. Run that around. Yeah, my eyes are proper red. <laughs> Proper red. It's up my nose and everywhere. That'll do. Now normally you'd leave that on for a few minutes while I clean up and stuff when I'm off camera. But because the camera the camera, because the film's um probably about 26 minutes. I'll probably run 30 now. Um, I'm gonna rinse it off straight away. <gasps> it's cold. Man, this menthol. It still gets you. <laughs> it still gets you even you rub it off your face. So if you're a massive fan of spat all over you, if you're a massive fan of menthol, this is a fantastic soap to get. I don't know if you can still get it, the uh, glacial. I'm sure I got an email from Sterling. And it's just one of these marketing ones, or like saying that the the glacials are back in season kind of thing. So I think that's what it was saying. So whether it is, I, if I see it on the website, I'll put a link. I need to stop putting links back in. I've just been lazy and I haven't put none in. <laughs> Right, here we go. I'm going to use some Osage rub. Ooh. I normally put this in my hair, to be honest. Here we go. Comes out all green. Like goblin blood. <laughs> I'm going to print my hair there. Ready? You, know, you don't get the kick until it... Well, now I'm feeling it. Whew. I love the smell of that stuff. Osage rub smells like... I don't know. <laughs> it's, a, it's got a unique smell to it. Really good stuff. Highly recommend it. If you do shave your head, put some of this on. If you like a cool sensation, but it's starting to cool now, my eyes will scream. <laughs> right, I need to put the balm on and then end this video because I don't want you watching or listening, sorry. I'm watching me ramble. I've got black bits all over my hands from the towel. <laughs> Don't matter how many times you wash that towel, it just loves putting black bits on my face. <laughs> God. My hair's gone wild. Oh, look like I'm crying. <laughs> oh. Still shining, love it. Well, I was. I, I don't know. <laughs> Well, that was a fantastic show. I enjoyed that. If you've made it this far, thank you very much. If you haven't already, hit the thumbs up and uh, give me a comment. Let me know what you're shaving. Give me ideas. And, uh, yeah. Let me know if you've used O'Shea's rub on your head. Or on your face. <laughs> or in your hair. Anyway, I'm going to let you crack on me Sunday. Because this is going to be uploaded for Sunday. And I'll, uh, I'll see you next Sunday. If not, I will try my hardest to put one out in the week. Alright? Look after yourselves and I'll see you next time. Try a bit.